When you're a production shop and a machine goes down with a bad spindle, that is one of the most critical, craziest situations you will ever find yourself in. You are lying down. And then when you call service and they say, you know what, we can actually be out there to change out that spindle for another three weeks. That's when things get really serious. That is when you start losing contracts and customers and you cannot let that happen. When you are on a production level where you're running hellers, it is important to keep these spindles turning non-stop and you have to be proactive in your approach as a manufacturer you have to think ahead and bring in the right components and keep them on the shelves like a spindle that might go bad something that because of our supply chain issues could take months to replace you have to make sure you have it on hand and then you have to bring in the right machines that will allow you to replace those spindles quickly and that's what heller has done heller not only creates their own spindles but they've made a way for you to change out your own spindle if the spindle goes bad i'm going to show you exactly how simple that is barry has never changed out a spindle in his life he's broken a lot but he's never changed one. So today, he's gonna to show you the process of changing out a spindle on this HF5500 from Heller. Let's go. Today, I wanna to show you guys how easy it is to swap this thing out with a brand new spindle. And the time is now 9.40, so let's see how quick we can get this done. That scared me. Look, a new spindle. All right, so our first step is we're gonna cut our chiller lines off. Done. Time elapsed. 12 seconds. Step two, ratchet and slide hammer. All right, we're gonna bust these 10 bolts loose. Two, and 10. All right, so you can see we got all 10 of our bolts loose. Next up, we have to get our dowel pins out. So that's what we're gonna use the slide hammer for. And this slide hammer just has a six millimeter thread on it. We screw it right into our dowel pin. Pin number one. Let's get pin number two out of here. Pin number two. Now Heller has a special tool that we're going to use that's going to allow us to pull this spindle out without me having to hold this 100 pound spindle. Why thank you Tony. Wiggle it just a little bit. So once we get this on here, we got to get it level. And then we're going to tighten these two bolts. We're gonna take our arm and stick it right there flush to our spindle. Okay. All right, we got a spacer. Get these tightened up. Now it's time for our all thread. Thanks to my lovely assistant, Tony. All right, so now that we got our all thread in, we're gonna use that to kind of act as a gear puller. That scared me. <laughs> now you can already see a gap is forming between our spindle face and the spindle housing. All right, so now that we got past all of our O-rings, we can just slide this thing right out. I'm coming out. Oh, look at that spindle all in your face. Yes, yeah, spindle. What's in there? Hmm. All right, let's go get our new spindle. All right, now why do they call this thing the zero spindle? It's because on the spindle itself, we have this spacer that's precision ground. Then inside the spindle housing, we have another spacer that's precision ground to make sure that when we put the new spindle in, we're gonna have the exact same length from the spacer to the spindle nose. Get out of here, Tony, this is my job. So as you can see, I've skillfully reinserted this pin. All right, now before we put our new spindle in, we're gonna stone the spot where our jack bolt was touching our spindle housing. 
We don't want no burrs. Nice and smooth. Perfect. Another thing that we want to do is wipe out the inside of our spindle housing to make sure that there's no debris in there. Debris free. Let's bring it in. Ooh. Now we're going to push our spindle in until we get to our first O-ring. Nice and smooth. Oops. Now we have our spindle back in as much as we can push it in by hand. So we're going to break free these two bolts here and get the arm out of the way. Now we're going to take our two pieces of all thread and we're going to put it through the spindle into a hole that normally would have a bolt. And we're going to use this all thread to pull the spindle back together into the housing. Whoop. If only I had a wrench. Thank you, sir. All right, let's get back together. And what we're doing is we're making sure that the spindle's going in nice and smooth. And if we feel any resistance, then we're going to alternate between our bolts. Last crank, and we're in. All right, we're gonna get our all thread out of here. All right, so now we're gonna put our 10 bolts back in hand tight, then we're gonna press our pins back in, then we're gonna come back and torque all of our bolts to 60 Newton meters or 45 foot pounds. Now all we got left to do is loosen our two bolts in our arm, take our arm off, and then we're all done. So there you guys have it. I've never done this before, and I was able to take the old spindle out, put the new spindle in, and it only took us about an hour to do. And I replaced this spindle again off camera, and I was able to get it done in about 20 minutes because we didn't have to worry about filming and cameras and stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. This Heller is an awesome machine, and if you replace spindles, then you'll appreciate how simple that was. Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys again soon.